Hey there folks, what's this video and here I'm talking about some breaking news from WRC. That is a Ranger ban has been dropped as the final round of the season, November 19th to 22nd, and it has been replaced by Rally Ypres in Belgium. And it's a shame that Japan's not going to be on the calendar. It was meant to be returning after, what, a 10 year hiatus. But the inclusion of Ypres is going to be pretty cool. I mean, it's been one that I've wanting, been wanting to see the WRC for years. It's actually one that I was planning on going to this year when it was going to be around with the British Ride Championship. And with the British Ride Championship postponed, the former European Championship event of IPA is now going to be a World Rally event. That's, that's brilliant. At the same time, even though it's a shame that Japan has been dropped, at least it's being replaced by another Tarmac Rally. Uh, this is something that I'm very strong believer in. Uh, I think Elford Efforts also says something quite similar. The WRC needs more tarmac events. When I first got into watching the WRC, which was 2003, well, we never really count Monte Carlo as a pure tarmac event. Uh, but we did have Germany, we had Corsica, we had Spain, we had San Remo. We had a fair few tarmac rallies, and this year's calendar originally had Germany and Japan. Yeah, it didn't really have much in the way of pure tarmac rallies. So, we've got Germany and Ypres. And it's also going to mean that we've got more rally drivers with home rallies. Like... Thierry Neuville was now going to have a home world rally event, like Oi Tanak does with Estonia. And I'm sorry, that that's just amazing. That's wonderful. We get more and more of people going to countries because it represents the drives. A bit like how, for example, Rally Catalunya first happened because of the reputation that Carlos Sainz had. Or how we managed to have the French round go back into mainland France to the Alsace region because of Sebastian Loeb. I really think that's quite cool. Maybe we get to go back to Ireland at some point uh, to represent Craig Breen, or I'm I'm trying to think of another one where we've not got a currently active World Rally, but we could for representing a rally driver because most of them most of them have already happened, and that's that's pretty awesome. But yeah, Ipa. It's going to be a unique challenge in so many ways, and I can't wait to see what the WRC does. Especially because the final day, the final day, and the power stage is going to be a Spa Francorchamps. This is going to be quite cool. We've got a final day which is going to be based around a racing track. I mean, we've seen rallies do that in the past. I mean, the Motorsport Games, if it was to be run this year, is going to be doing that around Paul Ricard. I can't wait to see what happens. I really can't. And, I mean, it's a shame we're not going to get a Rally Japan. And it's a shame that it means that six of the eight rounds this season's WRC will have taken place in Europe. But it's going to be enjoyable nonetheless. And Rally Ypres. Man, this is going to be exciting. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Bye-bye for now.